Hello everyone, this is Theme Park Avenue, I'm Eric, and today I'm going to be talking about my hometown park, Busch Gardens Tampa, along with the company that owns it, because of the weird things that they have been doing lately. Today I will try to find out what SeaWorld Parks is doing and why. Because, for those who don't know, in 2020, they are going to be getting five roller coasters, and in the past few years, they've gotten two at SeaWorld San Diego, one at San Antonio, one at SeaWorld Orlando, and also a large River Rapids ride, multiple at Busch Gardens, Williamsburg, and Tampa, and there's supposed to be a technically giga at Williamsburg in 2021. So I kind of want to figure out what they're doing here, and also give my insight on a couple of the rides, but first, let's find out what exactly they are doing to make changes at their parks. Let's start with the fact that all five SeaWorld parks will be getting a roller coaster in 2020. I'm going to quickly tell you what each one is. The one I'm most excited about is Iron Gwazi, an RMC of a bad wooden coaster at Busch Gardens Tampa. There's also a large intimate launch coaster called Pantheon at Busch Gardens Williamsburg. There's a GCI wooden coaster opening this month called Texas Stingray at San Antonio SeaWorld. SeaWorld San Diego is getting a dive coaster. And SeaWorld Orlando is getting a launch coaster that's kind of family-oriented. All of these rides are definitely going to be major investments, and it is kind of interesting to see a park get a new roller coaster along with all of the other parks in its chain. It's like if every Six Flags park got a roller coaster. I realize they always get rides, but it's interesting. But nonetheless, I'm going to give an unpopular opinion about one of these roller coasters. And that is that I don't really care about Pantheon. It looks to be a decent launch coaster with some cool inversions and elements, and the backward launch thing could be fun, but it kind of just looks like a Premier Rides launch coaster to me. Maybe a bit bigger, but I don't see how this could possibly be the best ride in the park. Maybe not even top two, compared to Apollo's Chariot and Griffin and Alpengeist. It just kind of looks like another cheetah hunt, and I feel like it's a bit overhyped. Everyone is more excited for this than Iron Gwazi, and I really don't see why. That is just my opinion, and I have not been on it yet, but I think it's getting a little too much hype. My other odd opinion is that I really am excited for Texas Stingray. I've never been on a GCI wooden coaster before. I've been on Custom Coasters International's Ghost Rider, and I really love that one more than any launch coaster, so I kind of feel like this will be better than Pantheon because while it looks to be a bit small, it's a GCI Woody and all of those are pretty much good. I think people are more excited for Pantheon because of its like size and it's just everything about it seems like it'll be a big coaster, but this is a GCI Woody and that's why I'm definitely going to get to this ride as soon as possible and do a review. So I'll tell you guys how I really feel about it, but for now, I think it looks really awesome. But now let's talk about the actual reason SeaWorld is probably doing this. Because they have to get rid of their orcas. Supposedly, by this year, maybe next year, they're going to have all their orcas put back in the wild, which seems like they could die from that because they were trained differently. But nonetheless, there's a whole thing where everyone thinks they treated the animals cruelly, which I can get behind. There's a documentary about it called Blackfish that I really like. You should check it out. And it kind of ended SeaWorld and got many lawsuits going. Obviously, the Busch Gardens parks aren't perfect with their wildlife handling, but I'd argue they're a lot better than SeaWorld. And I do like them trying to lean toward being big theme parks compared to animal attractions now. That was always their big thing, but... As far as SeaWorld Orlando goes, I think the only good thing about it is it's three best roller coasters. So overall, I'm kind of interested in this, and I wonder where they're going to go next year. Especially with the rumors about that Busch Gardens Williamsburg Giga. Which is what we'll talk about now. It's supposed to be well over 300 feet, but it's going to be like a launch coaster, and it's going to have like impulse, reverse freefall methods to it. It's going to be weird, and... I'm not sure if we can really call it a Giga. And quick note about Orion, I am decently excited for it. It doesn't look to be one of the better Gigas, maybe possibly the worst Giga, but 
still will be a good ride, but back to Busch Gardens Williamsburg. I'm not sure what they're trying to invest in here, but I did once meet a guy who claimed to work with high authority people at Busch Gardens Williamsburg and said they were going to make this giga coaster this year. So I guess he was a little off, but that's what he told me, and it seems kind of interesting. And I really do wonder where this is going to go and whether it actually will be the crazy launch thing that it is and how good it will be. It doesn't seem like something any park needs or should have, but who knows? It might be great. And those are my thoughts on the Busch Gardens and SeaWorld Parks, getting many roller coasters, a few of my opinions on the actual roller coasters themselves. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe for more content, and I will be making a review of Texas Stingray maybe later this month, but probably more like in March. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching once again.